Right under the corner. Look, look, he went right for it, dude. He went right after that. See? Dude, that was nuts. I watched him go for it. They go. Whoa. Oh, that's a big one. Get the net, get the net, get the net. What's going on guys? Bassin' it up. Moffat here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, we got a lot of footage. I mean, this one's probably my longest video I've ever posted yet so far. So hopefully you guys uh, stay tuned and watch it all the way till the end. But I'm not gonna talk too much here just because this video is so freaking long, but we got a ton of footage, a ton of fish, and some really nice big fish in it as well. So I'm gonna try to break it down a little as we go, as always, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can get uh, notified for the next one. Plus, get entered into my giveaway for the reel at a thousand subscribers. We'll give that away. But let's get into this video. Here we go. Out of me. All right, start out using a little Zoom Z drop on a finesse Ned head, creating a small shaky head and just jigging that along slowly on the bottom. That is starting out with the drop shot, a Zoom Z drop on a drop shot. And a lot that of times we already? like to switch up and use different things just to figure out what the fish are eating shot. better that day. Take long at all. You see one? There we go. That is a nice one. I like a tree. Huh? I like close to three three Yeah. Yeah. That nice one, guys. It's a fatty. Nice one. Just let him go. Oh, they're still eating this thing. Ooh, something stinks. Something stinks.
solid, nice solid fatty on the drop shot. There you go. Not being very There's one. There's one. There it is. Another solid one. Check him out, guys. Decent one. Now, let's let him go. There he goes. Now coming up on the bridge here and uh, a lot of times this time of year you can find fish and even kind of all times of the year you can find fish suspended along the edges of the pylons of the bridge so we pull up in here and sure enough I spot one dad throws into it makes a straight v-line for his bait and then you'll see the rest so one of the key reasons why that fish went straight for his bait like it did was because we had the rate of fall match perfectly for this time of year and this time of year they want a nice slow rate of fall and we were using a smaller 3 16th ounce weight just so that bait fell slow enough that it was almost natural to them but also still fast enough to look like it was a fish almost trying to get the heck away from him and that's why he reacted to it the way he did there is one see him see his nose right there in the corner right under he's right there in the corner Right under the corner. Look, look, see? Went right for it, dude. He went right after that. See? Dude, that was nuts. I watched him go for it. Yeah, I saw him go get it and then. Look, look, a bigger one. Throw it in there, throw it in there. I get it for a fucking back and I'm fucking into it. Oh, there it is. How ugly he is. The nice fat one. Yeah, buddy. There we go. That was crazy how fast he went for that. It dropped right next to him. He's like, "Whoa, wham!" Yeah, that other one was like a four, probably. Now I pick up my drop shot after throwing around the bridge bunch with the shaky head. Didn't really have any bites on that there, so switch it up like that and throw the drop shot. Except mine was a geek crack bellows gill, and sure enough, it did the trick. That was just nuts how fast. 
Oh man, dude, I got another one doing the same damn thing. Oh, that's a big one. Get the net, get the net, get the net. That's a huge one, dad. Get that net out of the water until you get under it. I know what I'm doing. I've done this before. Dude, that's a tank. Dude, that's a tank. Yeah. That's a big old ugly beast. <laughs> Wonder if that was the one that came with him. Yeah, That big girl, guys. That's a tank. Let's let this big girl go. Here she goes. Hello, guy. Thinks he's big when he go. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Head shaking like crazy. Go, go, go. Oh, no, no. no, you're not catching me, jerk. <laughs> going to be a lot easier to get to it if you go back there and get it and then I can get out and not have to run the trolling motor into everything, right? No, You don't ever back the back of the boat in the thing, that's how you broke the other fucking boat. Fucking boat is Hey, he's on Huh? I got him. Are you kidding? Yeah, I got <laughs> As I picked it off, he's like, comes and swaps it. <laughs> like, what the freak? Dad was literally stuck on this tree, pulling it, getting ready to pull this thing off, and this bass grabbed a hold of it. That's wild. We're literally in the tree right now. Stupid thing. <laughs> yes, I'm there. I see him go around and like I was like, what the hell is he doing? And I took off and I was like, wow, well, I'm still stuck. Wait a minute, that's a fish. <laughs> Weird. 
very weird. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd never guessed that. Look, there was one, a little one. Itty bitty one was just up here at the surface. See him? Oh, yeah. That's a fry. Yeah, that's it. Those ones out there were close to I was hooked up with another. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Thing came flying out of the water. Get that one. Like a four and a half pounder, probably. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get a good look at him. Yeah, maybe three. So, look bigger in the net, I think. Still probably three and a half. Mm. Nice one. See you later, fishy. There it goes. Still mean. <laughs> Who's kicking your butt today, huh? We caught the biggest. Yeah. So far. I don't know, you can catch a fish like that, it won't be too long. Hmm? So you keep catching fish like that, it won't be too long. Yeah. Over there is a log behind that. Mm -hmm. I was like, there's gotta be a fish here. Never throw the bike, but my line was coming out this way. Sitting here and decided to eat a little bit of lunch. Pops hooked up with another one. Only drop shot. Tires. Nice one. Get lit on it. What's going on? June bug. I mean, I tried June bug and uh, PBJ. Did you use a really light weight? Last year I found that was the complete opposite. Oh, there was grass. Another one. Let's let that one go. Freaking got them done. It happens. That was like a three pounder. So one thing bad I noticed about this hook that I was using here, and one of these reasons why I was losing this fish, some of the ones that weren't eating it quite so well, I was end up losing. And that was mostly because on the Z-Man little finesse Ned head, the weedless Ned head, the hook 
eye goes below the point of the hook and that actually can decrease your hookup ratio a little bit so what i did here towards the end of the day is i bent that eyelet i mean that hook point up a little bit just so it was above the point of the eye that the point of the hook was above the eye and that increases your hookup ratio and once i did that i didn't lose as many fish then Hello guy. I was hooked up with a good one. That is a fat one. Hold him up good. Yeah, it's a nice fat one. Hey. He didn't spawn yet. There he goes. That one. Big old boy. Alright, going back. There it goes. Not necessarily you, they're not. It's very good. Got one.
Check that for another good one. And popped off, and all of a sudden he's like this. Shoo! I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Oh, hell, he's got my line. <laughs> There's one. A dinker. Not bad. Need a net. Peeing everywhere. It's a nice fat one, guys. Look, it's peeing everywhere. Stop peeing. You need the pen. You're gonna make the pen for fish. That one was look good. And you weren't coming out. I bent that uh, out a little. That nice one out, guys. A little more bite. Decent one. It's this nice fatty go. About a three pounder. There we goes. There one. Jumper. Funny how light some of them hit, but yet they go jumping all over the place. No big guy. <laughs> Hook just popped right out of him. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as you see, me and Dad tore the absolute crap out of him. I think Dad caught a little bit more than I did, but... I got the biggest of the day. <laughs> so all these fish, they were up shallow getting ready to do their thing for spawn and a lot were roaming and in heavy cover like logs and lay downs. Any bit of trees we went around, we threw in, we usually caught fish out of them. Any little bit of grass we got around that was in like anywhere from a foot to like five, six foot of water at that point, we were catching them in it. And we even caught some around the bridge pylons and everything came off of the shaky head and the drop shot. Um, I drop shot the bellows gill, dad drop shotted a zoom Z drop and I threw a zoom Z drop on my little shaky head rig again. And another thing we were doing, just to make it look like a little bluegill, bass absolutely hate bluegill. So to make it look a little more like bluegill, we dabbed a little bit of chartreuse on the tail, just a teeny tiny bit. And that also gives them something to key in on a little bit, but it seemed to work and we caught a ton. I also did that little uh, chartreuse thing on the bellows gill as well. I just feel like that gives it a little bit more kick. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next one. Get yourself entered in that giveaway for the uh, new bait cash reel. We'll give that away at a thousand subscribers. If you comment, that gets you an extra entry into the giveaway. And with that being said, we'll see you next time.